Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in the today's topic, we are going to see how we will convert our next experience UI to our old UI and old UI to the next experience UI and vice versa. How we can do, it, do that. So in our previous series, I am keep on using the same UI which you are currently seeing now today. I'll convert this UI to the next experience UI. So how we can do that? So there's a property which we need enable it if you are going back to the next experience UI this was introduced in the San Diego release which I have already discussed in my previous videos so if you are very new to my channel do share and subscribe and I will give the link on the i button as well as the let's get started so to convert the UI into the next experience UI first of all your instance should be upgraded to either to San Diego or to Tokyo or to Utah you can see my current instance is in the version of Utah. Now we can check this type here stats.duo. Once you type stats.duo, you can see my instance build name is Tokyo. I'm so sorry, it is not upgraded to Utah. Other instance which I'm happy is upgraded to Utah. It is in Tokyo version and uh, the previous version was Santiago. Now let's go back. What we have to do is on the system property, on the system property table, we have to Enable one property, the name of that property is next experience Polarish. Let me show you, just type here system properties. Once you type system properties, come down and you will not find it over here. If you know the table name, what you have to do is this and escort properties dot this. Once you type properties, dot list so basically i am opening the table of system property and what is that dot list we have already discussed in our previous session video that is to open that property into the list view with that table in the list view. the list view and what is the property i would have to enable polarish to type star polarish i'm going to show you this slide ui polaris experience and it is currently false so i will make it true so that i will move back to our previous y which is next experience you it true then you just log out once you log out you need to see how it changed to this ui now you have to log in back if you have forget your password you can go to the developer.servicenow.com page from there you can get the password for example i am going there right away developer.servicenow.com and click here you can choose manage instance password. You can find your password from here or just click here start building. What you will notice, we are back on the next experience UI. Let me show you. Yep, we are on that page. Wait to be loaded. Think soon. Let it load it. So remember you have to enable this property and this is the most asked interview question which property allow you to move back from road UI to the next experience UI which is your Polarish. If you made it through the UI look like this which is displaying in front of you. This UI is little slow while in loading after that it will be little fast. You can see on favorite history over here. Correct. Now I will be using this UI for our next sessions videos. So if you have to revert it back to the previous UI, you have to make this as a false. So that's all for today. This was a short and quick video that can help you to change your UI as per your preference. Thank you so much guys. We'll see you in the next.